until this gets to 3.0, 4.0, 5.0, expect the prices to continue to go up. Expect the prices to still go up because that means people are still buying. There's not enough homes for the buyers. So that's just gonna be a supply and demand effect. Before we continue on with today's video, I just want to give a huge shout out to CISO Menswear. They actually have a sale going on, going till the end of Christmas. And here it is. It's buy one, get up to three belts for only $20 each. So the original price is $47.99. And then from there, after your first purchase, everything after that will be $19.99. So this is a perfect gift for your dad, your spouse, your partner, a friend, anybody that's looking for a belt. These are pretty nice quality belts. And he sent me a few of these belts. So I'm actually going to be giving away three of these belts to a lucky Chi Chi fam. So all you got to do to enter is like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below what size you need from there i will be reaching out to you guys until the end of december now let's go back to the video so yeah we are but always super excited to see your market update let's do that let's i do always that. get super excited to see it i know because you never know what's going to happen right within a week oh my goodness yeah all right wow look at the chart lisa can you see that it's trending down a little bit homes for sale is trending down damn so less homes are look. on the market not you yep look less and less just, homes are on the market just from last week six percent new homes all for sale new listings 11 percent went down sold homes went down almost 10 percent yikes look at that chart y'all market's not doing good because normally when there's less inventory this goes up. Yep. See, look, it's going up. Price per square foot, averaging going up. See that? It went up almost 6% just from last week. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go to days on the market. Days on the market is still very fast. Like, homes are still going fast. 18 days on average. Look at this. Sold homes. The price is going up. Look. Sold price average went up 2% just from last week. A lot of you guys are asking me about active. What the heck is this, Chia? What does active price mean? It means it's the home that a seller puts when it first hits the market. So it's been going down. But only, but it's, it's a little weird. I don't really like to go based off of this because kind of like what I mentioned in one of my last videos is... Nowadays, there's a lot of sellers trying to name their price and those homes are sitting on the market. So they mm -hmm. have to reduce. And then when they reduce, that's what you see here. So don't look at this and be like, oh, look, prices are going down because last week average homes was 1.6 and now it's 700K. Don't pay attention to that because it's not really accurate. You got to look to the sold price. Sold price right. is what really matters. It's what's going to dictate the next comp in the area that a appraiser is going to take into effect. Now, correct okay. me if I'm wrong, okay, Chia, because um, what I'm starting to see too is I'm starting to get more and more jumbo loans here in the Sacramento area. So I personally feel like when you're looking at the numbers, um, don't you know, it doesn't take into effect that a lot of times when um, the average home prices, the last time was somewhere in the 600 range in the Elk Grove area is what I remember because I live in Elk Grove. So it, it's a number that I kind of remember that you said the last time, Chia, mm -hmm. which means any home that's above that average, less and less people can qualify, right? And if less and less people can qualify for those bigger homes that think that they are worth more than that in this area, that might be the situation where those homes that are 800 plus and everything like that may see a little bit of a slowdown. That is exactly uh, what it is. Going back to this, this is the month's worth of inventory. We got 0.8. Still very low, y'all. Okay. Still very low. Until this gets to 3.0, 4.0, 5.0 expect the prices to continue to go up 
expect the price to still go up because that means people are still buying. There's not enough homes for the buyers. So that's just going to be a supply and demand effect. Okay. But that is it for today's market update. (laughs)